consumer surplus is the difference between the price a consumer pays and how much the consumer was willing to pay. So for instance, if the consumer was willing to pay, let's say, uh, $10 for a slice of pizza, and the price of the slice of pizza ends up being $5, after the consumer buys the pizza, the consumer has a consumer surplus of $5. And this is the measure that economists use to determine how happy the consumer is after buying the pizza. So after, if the consumer was willing to pay $10 and the pizza costs 5 then the consumer, after he buys the pizza, is basically happier or has welfare equals to $5. Now, uh, in a demand curve, if you apply this definition, you will find the consumer surplus um, in the area below the demand curve. So if the demand curve is, let's say, here, then the consumer surplus will be the area between the demand curve and the price because the demand curve basically tells you the willingness to pay. So for instance, let's say the price was around, was here, this is P1, then the consumer surplus will be this area in between the price and, uh, and the demand curve. So um, then it's easy to see that if the consumer surplus, if the price goes down, the consumer surplus um, increases and if the price goes up, the consumer surplus decreases. So uh, this is basically consumer surplus, and now let's see what producer surplus is.